Hey everyone, my name is Sloan and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am at Lowe's and we're gonna do some plant shopping. I recorded a Home Depot plant shopping video a few weeks ago and I thought it would be interesting to do the same thing at Lowe's and we can kind of see what the differences are. Like I mentioned in that video, I just don't think that Central Iowa gets a very good plant selection at any big box store. However, I recognize that what I think is a bad selection might be what you would think is a better selection where you're located. So I'd be really curious to know if if I'm sitting here and saying that my there's nothing good at this Lowe's and you think that it's great, because that's what I often find whenever I watch YouTube videos of people doing big box store shopping. If they are saying that their selection is bad, I'm often sitting there like, oh my gosh, that's so much better than what I normally see. So I'd love to know if you think the selection is great. I'm assuming that I will not be impressed because I rarely am, but maybe I'll be surprised. I loved how in the last video a lot of you were telling me like what plants you do or do not normally see in yours. Um, like a lot of people were saying that we have a really big succulent selection at Home Depot which I think is really interesting because we do there's a lot of succulents at Home Depot um but it's weird to know that that's not normal because why would Central Iowa get more succulents than anywhere else? I I don't know. Maybe we just like succulents here. Um, but it is the middle of the day on a Tuesday. Uh, my house is getting a new roof put on it and it's really loud. So I took the afternoon off. I work from home and I took the afternoon off and I was like, this will be a great time to do a plant shopping video. And it's surprisingly busy. So I'm hoping when I get inside, it's not that busy, but oh well. Um, hopefully nobody bothers me and hopefully I don't see anyone I know because I've seen people I know at this Lowe's. Why did I choose to go to this Lowe's? Uh, I don't know, but let's go inside and go see what plants they have. Bye. So this particular Lowe's has their own little plant room, but it looks like they have so many plants that there's more outside of the plant room. So it's November 2nd right now, but you know, Christmas is almost here. Um, looks like there is a uh, Diffenbachia right here for 13. Um, I'm getting distracted by this green pot because I like it. I don't need it but I like it. Um, and yeah, some, I think these are majesty palms. Yeah. Um, not really my type of plant, but they have a lot of them. I wonder who buys these, you know, I don't know. Um, they have some yucca cane as well for 15 cute little guys. I thought about getting one of those. Um, I first started liking yucca cane because they were in like Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, so I liked them because I had one in my house there. Looks like they have a lot of succulents here too. They don't have as many as, you know, Home Depot, but they do have some. I actually really like these Sansevierias. I think they're cute. Oh my gosh, this cute little pearl pot. Very adorable. And lots of succulents. Oh, it looks like there is a clearance. $1. There's a little skull. I think that's a, an, ah, I can't talk. I think that is a Haworthia right there. I think these are Norfolk Pines for only $20. And they've got some new growth, I think. Not bad. Apparently one o'clock on a Tuesday is the time where all of the, like, retired people must shop which makes sense but there's a lot of people giving me weird looks there's a little lavender bush oh my gosh it's so soft does it smell good i can't smell it it's only 15 this probably would not stay alive very long it feels fake is it fake there's no way it's fake Okay, on second scent, it does smell like lavender. I think it's real. It's super soft and it feels immensely fake, but it's not. All right, over here, it looks like they have some little Christmas pots. This is so cute. Um, cute little anthurium in there. I love this pot. And some bamboo, more anthurium in a red pot. This is the first time I have ever seen a Maranta at a big box store. So... That's kind of crazy. 
and then some enjoys which are not a bad find the enjoy is $13 I'm assuming the Maranta is as well yeah 13 and then some more succulents nothing too too exciting Gollum Jade very very full pot some cacti more cacti i don't know what this one is it's very weird looking very halloween silver coral it's creepy i don't like it but kind of cool okay let's go into the little plant room next all right so this is the entrance to the plant room looks like more norfolk island pines for 20. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the best selection I think I've ever seen. They actually have watermelon pepperonias. I wonder if they just got a shipment in. The watermelon peps are $20, it looks like. Um, also some really cute syngonium. For 17 Marble Queen Pothos. In a little ceramic hanging pot for 17 it's a cute pot and then more enjoys i'm assuming also 17. it looks like there is another peperomia back there too obviously a snake plant that i just moved um i'm gonna go ahead and assume these are all the same prices but i'll look anyway and yes yeah, 17. um that's a really cute peperomia I'm not gonna lie i like it um and yeah some bromeliads more syngonium, diffenbachia. We'll get over to the other side and see some more. This is not a bad selection in comparison to what I normally see. Up here are some fiddle leaf figs for 25. I see those a lot. Um, some dracaenas of various varieties. Some tall, I think those are zeylanica snake plants for 25. And then cat Hedleia orchids. I've never seen this. They're in these weird little like bag things. I guess it must look like that. Poor little plant in a bag. It's eight dollars if you want to give it a try. This one is spotted, I guess. Interesting more of really ads down there here's a begonia i can't tell you what type of begonia this is but it's part of the trending tropicals looks like and they're 20. over here are more bamboo plants and it looks like a hartley philodendron i really like this pot i like that pot a lot don't have anywhere to hang it though some raven zz plants is this a begonia maculata? I don't know. These are kind of growing on me. Down here are some sago palms, another watermelon peperomia. Looks like a nerve plant of some sort. And a fern. And I forgot what this is called. Purple waffle plant. I think these are kind of cute. More fiddly figs. It looks like there's some white bird of paradise up here for 27 here is another peperomia, which is a part of their trending tropicals. I can't remember the name of this one. Oh, peperomia raindrop, it says. I, that doesn't feel right to me, but I don't know what they're called for sure. A good selection of African violets in some like, this is kind of a pretty dark flower. More enjoys back here. Another marble queen with a really big leaf. And... Yeah, there's a Birkin here. Um, whatever Syngonium this is, is quite pink. And various plants down here. I don't know what this one is. What are you? I don't know if it's going to say. I don't think it does, so mystery plant. There are some Cordialine over here and a Yucca Cane very large aglionema and some really big fiddly figs those ones especially have trunks even and they're 120 dollars wow 
that makes me nervous but if they would live i mean that's a lot less than you're gonna pay at a you know nursery down here i think these are bird's nest ferns it says i don't know what these are it says asplenium nidus and they are highlight i might have to google that more anthurium of various flowers well there's a black one are they supposed to be black or are they just dead no i think it's supposed to be black that's neat i think it's the only one too i don't know what these plants are at all does it say yeah they're galaxy false aurelia Interesting looking. Um, it looks like there's some nerve plants back there. More Syngonium. Um, Janet Craig right here and Begonia. We'll get over there in a second. So this Begonia is... I don't know what it is, but it's a little bit different, I think, than the other one. Like these are obviously two different Begonias, but I don't really know what they are. Some orchids up here, more Aglionema, ZZ plant, bromeliads. Anything hiding in here? Um, this looks like a variegated yucca, maybe? Dracaena. It's, hi there, my friends call me Warnecki. That's really pretty, actually. Oh my gosh. Is this a philodendron brantiana? It is. What? I don't need this, but I've never seen one of these. Like, not at a Lowe's, not at a nursery. How much is this? Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cool. Okay, here I am saying that I usually don't find anything good. It's because I don't come at 1 p.m. on the afternoon, in the afternoon, I guess. I don't see a price, but I'm gonna assume like $20, probably a little less. Oh, that's so cool. I really love the shape of their leaves. And there's more Marantas back there and more Enjoys. Oh, that's so cool. I can't believe they have this. Behind me, it seems to be a similar selection. There's a pretty big golden pothos. Oh my gosh, a red Maranta. I've never seen a Maranta. That one's in a huge basket. I wonder how much that is. I don't need it. I don't need it, but oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go around and look at that in a second. I'm getting distracted. Um, yeah, most of these look the same. There is, an, uh, I think this is a Peperomia obtusifolia that that stem doesn't look great. I think it's snapped off. It says green peperomia. My full name is peperomia obtusifolia for five dollars. So yeah, if I bought one of these, I'd definitely change it out of the soil immediately. But for five dollars, I mean, if it dies, you're only out five dollars, I guess. This little vining thing is pretty creeping big. I just spilled water all over my foot, so that's fun. And then more little figs down here, and whatever this fern is. Oh, this is a rabbit's foot fern. I always think these look like the tops of carrots. All right, over here are more fiddly figs and they have these calatheas, which I've also never seen at a Lowe's. This is a really exciting Lowe's trip. Um, hello, successful big box store shopping trip. These are only $12. Oh my gosh. Do I have room for this at home? It's huge. It's so happy. Um, friendly reminder though that Calatheas attract spider mites, so definitely give it a good look over before you purchase one, regardless of where you're purchasing it from. I don't have to think about those. That huge Maranta up there is only $20. It looks like it's got a bunch of dried flowers on it too, because it was happy. Oh, if I needed one, if I didn't already have one, that's so cool. Down here, there are some starter. Are these enjoys are pearls and jade. Oh, that's cool. I actually don't have a pearls and jade. I have an enjoy. Hmm. That could be cute. It looks so similar to an enjoy in a marble queen. 
there's a nerve plant up here. You guys know how I love nerve plants. Oh, so pretty. They must have just watered these. They're all soaking wet. This is $7. And looks like there is a little umbrella tree, which is also a fun find. And I think this is a desert rose for only $13. That's a really cool find too. And I love the pot that it's in. Over here are more fiddly figs. Um, I think this is some kind of saxifrage, but I'm not sure. There's kind of a rubber tree hiding back there. And more begonia that I don't know. That one's one we haven't seen yet. Um, Yeah, I don't know what that one's called either, but that's the, I think the only one of its kind. Oh no, there's one back there too, but kind of cool looking. There are more peperomias here, and then up there is another huge maranta. I love it. And a bonny curly spider plant, a philodendron gold here. Looks really beautiful with the blue sky behind it. And up here, guys, they have philodendron uh, brazils. And I've never seen these at a Lowe's either. And they're in these really big full pots. And there's full pots of, it looks like, I think those are Hartley Philodendron back there on the right. And Marble Queens. Oh my gosh. And this is a Scandopsis Argirius, I think. I've never, oh, we're finding the coolest things today, guys. Oh, that's so awesome. I just bought one of these. So I don't need another one, but... They have this one too. They're so pretty and sparkly. I didn't expect them to be sparkly in real life. We're finding so many good finds. Oh my goodness, a lemon lime. Miranda, all the way back there for $14 only. I think that's the only one that I've seen. Some money trees or Pacura aquaticas. I think these are more pearls and jade. I think you can tell because this is more speckled than like an enjoy would be. Down here, there's another Miranda. Um, oh, I think this is a raindrop peperomia back there. I don't know if I'm going to pull it out, but yeah, I've heard that these have kind of started popping up, um, which is really awesome. I would get a price on that. Maybe I can get to this one. We're going to get to it. Yes, it is a raindrop peperomia. Ooh. Where is your price? It is only $20. I mean, everything is pretty much around that price or less. Cool. There's a really big basket of philodendron Brazil with humongous leaves. Ugh. Anything hiding in the back? I don't see anything. Um... Oh, after I tried so hard to get that one raindrop pepper out, here's one, you know, right out in the open. They're fun looking. Um, it looks like there's some more philodendron brantianums hiding back there, so I'm probably going to pull those out and look at them. Um, but not right now. Another red vein maranta for $20 in a huge hanging basket. So awesome this pot i don't know what this plant is and you know they don't they've labeled more than these than i expected but yeah i don't know what this one is but look, look how weird this pot is very strange yeah more down here <gasps> another philodendron brantiana so cool i just think it's awesome that they have these at all i've never seen one of these in real life um and there's some cool looking ferns back there pepperomia obtusifolia right there and I think this is another desert rose. These pots are kind of interesting. The tray is so large, but it's connected. But at least there is a tray. And then a lot of begonias. All right, so I'm gonna take, oh, this one's different maybe than the other ones. I don't know, but I'm gonna go take a final look around and possibly buy something. I will see you in the car. Hey everyone, I'm back in my car and what a successful shopping trip oh my goodness there were so many cool plans i was not expecting that at all 
I've never seen that many awesome plants at a Lowe's. I've never seen a single Maranta, let alone three different varieties. Um, yeah, and I actually did buy a plant. So let me show you. I got this Philodendron Brantianum and it's got some huge leaves. This was the best specimen of them all. I dug all the way to the back for it. It was only $13 and it came with this pot which I actually do really like. I know sometimes that's the con of, you know, buying from a big box store is that they often have the pot included. But in this case, I actually really like the pot. Um, it's already, I, let's see if I can get it out of the pot right now. No, take my word for it. The roots are already coming out the bottom, so it's ready to be repotted. It's in like a nursery pot inside of here, but I'm so excited. I'm guessing part of the reason why I did see such a good selection is because I am here in the middle of the day on a Tuesday and maybe they just got these in this morning and nobody's really been in to look at them yet, but I'll file this away for the future. However, I will say that in my head, I thought when I think about like plant shopping and I think about like, I don't want to be in other customers way and I don't want to be in anybody's way whenever I film these videos. And I've always thought in my head that like doing these videos in the middle of the day would probably be the best time, but I always do them in the evening because I work all day. And this is the first time I've done one during the day and I had way more weird looks and I was very much in the way of the employees. I've really tried not to be, but yeah. Um, if you're thinking about filming a plant shopping video, uh, don't think that during doing them in the middle of the day is better because I have had no problems doing them in the evening. I've never bothered anyone in the evening. I feel like there's less people somehow. Um, or like, I don't know, people during the day, they were really looking at me weird, which is okay. But uh, nobody really talks about that. And that was one of the things when I was starting to film plant shopping videos that I was like very nervous about. So I just wanted to throw that little tidbit out there. Um, it's not as scary as you think it is. And usually nobody looks at you, but this low is in the middle of the day on a Tuesday. Apparently I was very odd uh, by filming. Nothing I can do about that. But anyway, I'm so excited about this. I do have a little philodendron Brantianum node at home that's been propagating for like two, three months now. I don't know. It's just like a little, little node that I have in sphagnum and it's rooting. There's no, there's no leaves. So I wasn't planning on buying one of these, but how could I resist? I've never seen one of these. So I'm really excited and I'm excited this was a successful shopping trip because I haven't bought something from a big box store in a long time. But yeah, I'm gonna go isolate this. I might spray it down for pests too. I don't know, I'm feeling extra careful today. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day off as it's still the middle of the afternoon and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.